Okay. All right, you can move on. Sundar women some Okay. All right, you can move on. Sundar women some I know you. Concept in the house, boy. <laughs> Mr. and Mrs. You gotta move for video, you know. Doing? Looking good. 
Okay. 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 Naps boy. Naps boy. I invite you all to remain standing as we play the national anthem of the greatest republic in the world, the Republic of Trinidad and Tobago. Don't bother. Excellent. I, I invite you to remain standing as I invite Monsignor Christian Pereira from the Roman Catholic Church to so please come forward to bless the meal as that. We and we glorify you, O God, who have called us together here this evening to support the mayor and his efforts in helping our city and helping those who are most in need. Lord God, as we gather here in friendship and fellowship, as we gather here with this good and noble intention, we ask you, dear Lord, to bless the meal that has been prepared. Father God, we pray and thank you for those who worked hard in the preparation of this meal, for those who will serve it, and for all of us who will partake of it. We pray, O oh God, that you will bless this meal as we say, Bless us, O Lord, and these thy gifts, which we are about to receive from your goodness, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Thank you. Thank you very much, Monsignor. Ladies and gentlemen, you may be seated. I love these events. I, 
I usually would not accept these jobs, but recently I found a place that rents these tuxedos. So now I'm in a position to accept jobs like these. Your Worship, thank you very much for having me. I, don't, I know you don't like me to call you Your Worship, but Your Worship, I have one black tie. I have to talk like if I know about these kinds of things, okay? My friends, it's dinner time, and the first course will be served to you at your tables and beyond that the beautiful Jackie Kun Ho you'll hear her voice as she will take you in turn invite you in turn to the buffet do enjoy we have plenty action coming up music. just try it. music, M -music. Yo, in concept, boy.
I like you. Some people hide from it. Thank you very much. It's good to see you. Good to have you there. Attitude. Good evening. I wouldn't call your name too hard. I'm sorry. Okay, all right. I wouldn't let everybody know that you are here. Just right. And all of the councilmen who are here, a very good evening. It's time for us to rock and roll. And first off, to come and chat with us a bit, is a gentleman who I had the good fortune to go to school with. If I had known he would have risen to such prominence, I'd have tried to be a better friend to him in school. But <laughs> alas, I wasn't. You know, school days were in part happy, happy days for me, but today I reflect on them and enjoy them thoroughly. Let me welcome to you, my friends, the principal of the greatest learning institution in the world, Naprima College. The principal is here, <laughs> Dr. Michael Dowlat. Please come forward, sir, and bring some greetings. I get out very much, Master of Ceremony, and one of our schoolmates. I want to recognize all of the special guests. I'm here just to say a few words because my friend, our distinguished mayor, His Worship the Mayor, was a colleague of mine at Naprema College. I want to congratulate the mayor on all the work that he has been doing. Mayor, we were really proud of you. So, from the Naprima College fraternity, I want to say that all the work you have done for the alumni, all the work you have done supporting us at Naprima College, has given you a foundation now that, as Mayor, San Fernando has been outstanding, and we pledge our support to you as the Mayor. So congratulations on behalf of the Naprima College fraternity. Thank you very much. You know, at Naprima College, they teach us everything, you know, everything. And one of those lessons is that speeches are very much like biscuits. They are improved by shortening. Thank you very much, sir. <laughs> At this time, my friends, I want to welcome a childhood friend of His Worship, and I welcome Mr. Linhus Ishmael. Please make him welcome. Good night, everybody. Your Worship, that's the last time I'll address you that way for tonight. I have been um, conned into coming here tonight by a friend of mine. Um, my name is Linhus. I, I was born in South. I grew up in South. I was schooled in South. And um, San Fernando is a boring place. San Fernando is a quiet place. But San Fernando has good schools. San Fernando endears family life. San Fernando has created leaders in this country in all walks of life. So with the um, competitive edge that exists with other places in Trinidad and in the world, I feel privileged to be a person of San Fernandian roots. Against the run of play, Kazim and I became friends. In those days, rivalry was a big thing. He went to Naps, and I went to another school. <laughs> Michael, <laughs> that's just to make you feel good. Kazim was a quiet person. He was not into liming, he was not very into sports. So how he became, we became friends, I'm not sure because I was quite the opposite. At some point in time, I um, became exposed to his family, his parents actually, and thereafter his siblings. Um, 
I was not fortunate to have had my parents together um, growing up through school. I see Harry here. He knew my father very well. So I had this habit of observing my friends, schoolmates, in their family life situation. So it was really something amazing for me to be exposed to Kazim's parents. Humble, yet stern. His mother is here, really quiet person. And um, there was a bit of envy in me at that time with my observation of what proved to be a continuation of his parents' insistence on values. We all have different um, value systems. And I think one of the most important things that I have seen in South, and I hope we can preserve that, is this tendency for us to take care of our kids and our families in a manner that the rest of the country has lost. I have seen that with Kazim and Kathy, and I think today when we, for those of us who don't really know him, and I don't think many people do, um, you're not really seeing Kazim Hussein. You're not really dealing with Kazim Hussein on a daily basis. You're dealing with his parents. He is an example of what his parents brought up in their kids. I am actually really proud and um, a little bit taken aback. And I suppose other people had questions to ask in terms of, did Linhurst go to naps? How come you all are friends? There are people here who work tirelessly. I'm, I'm kind of, um, I think I work hard, you see? But there are people here who have given their time before this council to make San Fernando a better place. There are people here who are unheralded in their efforts over time, and it will always be so. To those people, I say thank you very much for providing us with a better place to live and for our kids to be raised. The older folk, no offense, who have built San Fernando on their shoulders, it's, um, it's something that us coming up are really proud about. We don't often have a chance to express our gratitude to the business people, the community-based people, the, the members of the clergy who have made it their life's work to give us a place like San Fernando to live in. My kids have benefited from your efforts. My prayers have been answered with respect to that in my life. And I say thank you to all of you who have worked tirelessly over your life in order to make this place a better city for us and to make this an example of what this country could be. On behalf of myself, my family, my friends, your school friends, Kazim Hussein, I say thank you for stepping out in front. I dare say that um, I never expected you to walk in your father's footsteps. We are filled with families of doctors, lawyers, in South in particular that we know about. Our schools produce generations of children following in their parents' footsteps. I think this is the first time we have a son who is a mayor in a city, and his father was also the mayor in Trinidad and Tobago. Congratulations. Do yourself proud, but remember the responsibility that you carry now is greater than you would have imagined in your life. You have that responsibility to those younger than you, those older than you, to deliver on what you have undertaken in a manner that would make your parents proud of you. So, on behalf of everybody, Kazim, thank you very much for the opportunity and for your friendship and for what we hope to be a continuous, better, and changing situation in our country via San Fernando. Thank you. Thank you very much, Lynn Hurst.
My friends, we continue with the formalities, and I see here on the program we have the prospective candidate for San Fernando West um, from the People's National Movement present with us, uh, Mr. Faris Alwari. Is Faris Alwari here? Is that true? Is this Mr. Faris Alwari? Please make him welcome. <laughs> Let me inform. Good night, ladies and gentlemen. Assalamu alaikum to those Muslim brothers and sisters in the audience. Sitaram to our Hindu brothers and sisters. Greetings in Jesus Christ, the Almighty's name, of course, to our Christian brothers and sisters. And what a way to start because San Fernando is properly the very epitome of mixture and balance. Ladies and gentlemen, permit me a few words only. Um, it is true that shortening does make biscuits and bread sweeter, but it doesn't quite do such a good job for politicians, certainly, and lawyers who get to charge both um, by time and by complexity. Ladies and gentlemen, we're here tonight on a very special occasion. The mayor's ball, as it's called, the mayor's dinner. And if you look around to your left and right, as I do, if I look forward to us all, I see the real, true Trinidad and Tobago before me. This city, San Fernando, is the city of mixture. It's the city of love. It's the city without any of the boundaries that the rest of our country struggles with. San Fernando was definitely the most beautiful jewel in my life growing up. But I want to just put one small thing on the record, and, and I'm sure that the very prominent Daulat, sitting as he does for Naparima College and having extolled the virtues of that college, will permit a pressman to say tonight that Presentation College, ladies and gentlemen, knows no boundaries. And whilst Naparima may be flourishing in the, in the charts right now in respect of their football and certainly their academia, that's only because Prez has given you a little bit of an advantage so that you can grow so that we may have good competition. So forgive me for putting the presentation college back into the conversation tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, our mayor, Kazim Hussein, in Arabic, Kazim is pronounced Kazim. And Kazim in Arabic is a very special name. Kazim literally means, or al Kazim, like my name, al Rawi. It has a meaning. And al kadhim in Arabic means the restrained one. It literally means someone who can, who can withhold anger when it is the most easy emotion to express. It is somebody who demonstrates poise. It is someone who demonstrates balance. And al kadhim actually was the seventh Imam of Islam and came from the other part of me settled in Baghdad, in Iraq. And I wonder if Kazim's, Kazim's parents understood how well they named him when they named him. Because he demonstrates as a mayor of San Fernando all of the characteristics of his name. Balance and restraint. And I would like to say that he has been blessed as much as the caliphs of Baghdad were, because he has with him a council of PNM and one other, <laughs> forgive me for the smile, a council of men and women and older men and older women who have given him the greatest support. And as a city and as a council for the city, I think that Mr. Regrello, our deputy mayor, every single councilman and councilwoman, alderman and alderwoman, in the current incarnation are dedicated to San Fernando. Ladies and gentlemen, without being much longer, may I just say, San Fernando is a city that is in need of attention. San Fernando is a city that is at risk of being bypassed. San Fernando is a city that has great hope and great potential and is served by very excellent citizens and well coordinated by a very good council. 
May I express my sincere gratitude to His Worship the Mayor Alderman Kazim Hussein, to Alderman Junior Regrello, to every member of the Council on a very incredible organization here tonight, and more particularly for the work that they have been doing for San Fernando as a whole. May God continue to bless you all, and may we see the rewards of hard work, honesty, and labor for this city as it grows into its prosperity, which it surely must. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Presentation College. What I never. <laughs> oh, I, I'm getting a bit confused here. Lynnhurst spoke about a chasm who wasn't into sports, who, you know, wasn't into nothing, you know. And now, yeah, he, he, but this balanced man. Who is the mayor of San Fernando? Not the chasm I know. Because <laughs> I know he wants to be a sportsman, cricket in particular. Even tonight I see him make a leg glance. Nobody noticed. Excellent. Well, to, to all the way to the boundary. Well done, Mr. Mayor. You know, but the amount of racket we run at Naprima College, Mr. Kazim, Hossein, and I. Boy, I tell you. If I start to tell the tales, hmm, should I, Your Worship? Stop? Okay. I'll stop right there. You know, Faris al Rawi, al Rawi. Why am I more tying up to say Al Rawi? Al Rawi, right? Faris. I'll just say Faris was, you know, this evening talking about this great city. I myself can say that I was forged in this city of San Fernando, having attended San Fernando Boys RC for one year and then the illustrious Naparima College thereafter. However, there's one city that I recall, if I'm giving a little time to digress here, having visited that changed my entire life. It is the city of Egypt in Northern Africa. I went there in 2010 on a 15-day educational tour. And there's nothing anyone can say to you about Egypt that could truly describe it, or nothing you can imagine about Egypt that can prepare you for it. And I'm mentioning that this evening because I have a very special guest with me here this evening, Dr. Clinton Crawford. He's the chairman of the Mass Communications Department at Medgaver's University, part of the City Universities of New York. And Dr. Clinton is here. He's the man who takes the educational tour to Egypt annually. I'm telling you this because there's some there are some flyers on the table outside that you should grab one of and visit the website and see the exciting work Dr. Crawford is doing. Dr. Crawford, thank you very much for being my special guest here this evening. Nice. It is time for us to welcome His Worship, the Mayor of San Fernando, Alderman Hossein, to the lectern to speak. And I will not tell you anything about him before he speaks. I. Fortunately, I'm the master of this ceremony, so I'll reserve my comments for after. Please make our mayor welcome. At, at Naparima College, we were taught a lot of things. And what I learned there, I carried it through my life. Two things I'm grateful for, Naparima College and my religion. And everybody should be grateful to their religion. So, Dr. Dowlat, I want to thank you and the school for giving me this foundation to serve the city of San Fernando. <coughs> Deputy Mayor Olaman Jr. Regalo, and please permit me, I would like to recognize my council members, and I'll ask them to stand. <coughs> Olaman Kevin Ratiram, Olaman Vidya Mongal Bisesa. <clears throat> Councillor Arnold Sugrim. <clears throat> Councillor
Councillor Shaka Joseph, <laughs> Councillor Ronald Rondell Donawa, <laughs> uh, Mr. Montano, so quiet as always. <laughs> and I wanted to leave, and you all don't get, get me wrong. I wanted to leave. Yeah, I wanted to leave the two. Well, the best for last. But I, before I before I go to her, I like to also rec recognize an experienced person on the council, hardworking, Mr. Councillor Robert Paris. <laughs> Very unassuming person. And last but not least. She's one of my favorites, and you all will see why. Councillor Laverne Smith. <laughs> Senator, the Honorable Faris Alwari. We have a special guest, and I'd like you to give him a San Fernando welcome. Dr. Slinger Francisco, the mighty sparrow. <laughs> and we have someone who is like a mother to San Fernando. Oh, yeah. Senator, former senator and ambassador. Mrs. June Newell Williams. <laughs> and I forgot to mention, and I'm apolog I must apologize, he's always so quiet. He's quiet on the council, but he knows he know how to get the job done. Councillor Nigam Joseph, could you please stand, please? <laughs> and you see he's in the back. He's always quiet and always hiding. We have Mr. Neil Mohammed. Could you stand, sir? I, I, I didn't want to bring too much of politics in this tonight, but I am a politician, and Mr. Neil Mohammed is the prospective candidate, the next candidate, I should say. Next member of parliament, sorry, for point up here. And you all can see, I didn't want to talk too much about PNM to politics tonight, but in the PNM we have handsome men. <laughs> I see the rapid fire man is laughing there. All you distinguished ladies and gentlemen, all of you all, and everybody here is distinguished. We have the chairman of the Tuna, the Digo Martin Corporation. Everybody here. I knew, I knew you all personally, most of you all. I want to mention a very quiet person who works together with me and who has assisted me since I became mayor on the 1st of November last year. I would like him to stand, let people see him because he don't like to be seen. Our chief executive officer of the corporation, Mr. Indarajit Singh. We are the policy makers, and Mr. Singh and the administration carry on, carry on what we want. Now I'll try and divis, di, di, try to go away from the speech a little. But um, I must say, when we took office here in November last year, you all might be following. Some of you all probably follow me in the media. And this corporation and San Fernando was in a dilapidated state. You all might not agree with me, because you all don't want me to say it, but it's a fact. Corruption, the place overgrown lots, the derelict vehicles all over, dilapidated buildings, where, where people, where they house, homeless, prostitutes, you name it. I don't know what went on here before the 1st of November. 
I really can't say. And I don't want to be political. I want to be honest. I am speaking. I'm being very genuine what I am saying, and I'm speaking from my heart. And when we took office on the 1st of November, we decided as a council, the deputy mayor, myself, and all the council members, including the opposition, which is Olaman Ratiram and Councillor Janki, decided we are under new management and we are going to do things different in San Fernando. Not so, Olaman. And we are doing it. We are going against the odds. I inherited a mayor's fund that was used for partying, for all kind of activities that it was not it was designated for. And I will go later, a little later into it, why we are here and why you all have taken the time to come here this afternoon to give us your money to help people in need. So we decided we were, su <coughs> sorry, we were successful, but we, are, we were not successful at some of the attempts we made. The first thing I did when I became the first servant of San Fernando was to meet the homeless people. And in San Fernando, there are over 210 homeless people on the streets. After I was sworn in on the first, which was a Friday, I decided to dress normal, a short pants on a jersey, and I walk Harris Promenade, and I sit with the homeless people, and I found out what were their needs, what they wanted, because they are people. They are human beings. They have families. Some of them are families who are doctors and lawyers. Believe me, yes. I spoke to a gentleman uh, there and his uncle as a magistrate. One, a, a woman who was on the street, her sister is a prominent attorney in Port of Spain, a criminal attorney. So these people are people and they are out there for a reason. But God bless you and God bless people who are put into high office. And you know why I say high office? When you, people feel when when you get into office, people put you there. When you get into office, you're doing what you want to do and not what the people put you there to do. And my approach is the front. I am going to listen to the people. That is why we have consultations. Olaman Bissessa represented the council and had a consultation for all the homeless people. And we are going to deal with it. We are going to send a message to the rest of Trinidad and Tobago. You know what San Fernando does, the rest of the country follows. You all know that. And we are going to deal with the homeless situation in San Fernando. It's terrible. It's bad. You go down by the court there, and they, they destroy the walls. They, they, they sleep in into the, actually into business, the, the business places and so on. So we took a decision. I see the public health inspector here, Mr. Jamil Mohamed. Could you stand let people see you are a quiet man, but an important man? And I want them to see you because San Fernando have a lot of complaints, public health complaints, especially with the chicken goni and the dengue. These open lots need to be clean. And I, I want to thank you for coming and exposing yourself tonight. So we did a lot. I, 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 was, I tried something. I started to cut down, take down the council, took a decision, and we decided to take down the billboards, with illegal billboards in San Fernando. And I was met with strong opposition, very strong opposition. But I am determined. The matter has been taken to court. You know, you're trying to do good. And they decided to file an injunction on me and the council and take me to court. So you could go ahead and do anything illegal, and it's OK. But the matter is in court, so I don't want to talk much more about it. But you all agree that these billboards, I see Mr. Mohammed, Mr. Fen Mohammed, um, Neil Mohammed is here. And I remember one of the billboards was you, belonged to you, and you called me. And um, these people take advantage. These billboard owners take advantage 
of cost of people. I wonder if they pay taxes. All these things I want to find out. Um, there's much more I could talk about. You all see, you all are coming here tonight, you see activities taking place on the promenade. For the first time in the history of San Fernando, we are here and we are making this, the Harris Promenade accessible to the differently abled people. I must say, I must thank my council members, all the men, because all the proposals we came up with, all was supported by the council. The bandstand was there. You ever hear about a bandstand flat on the ground? We, have, we, are, we are changing the bandstand, we are raising it. We are making it a state-of-the-art bandstand. We're going to put a waterfall next to the bandstand. People could come who get married, take pictures. We are also, you know the train engine higher up Harris Promenade? We are refurbishing that. The public convenience, I always say, is not fit for any human being to enter. We are building it over. I mean, I don't want to criticize anybody, but how come people, how come people could come and sit in our office at the highest level in San Fernando and not see these small things? It's the small things that make a difference in your life, you know. Not the big things. When you tell somebody you love them, and you actually mean it, it makes a difference, you know. But when you want to, you come here and you sit in high office, and you're driving a car with blue lights and siren and so on, and the people suffer in there, it don't make sense. I have a car with siren and blue lights, and I told those officers, once I sit in this car, I do not want that lights on, and I do not want no siren on. They are here, they can testify to that. So simple things like that, will make a difference. I am the first servant. I never tell anybody on the phone this is the mayor speaking. Or I am the mayor, I call him from the mayor's office. I am the first servant here. And politicians should take an example. <laughs> they come and they ask for your vote, and after they get your vote, lies it until the next election. So we are doing a lot of work on the promenade, there's, there's um, the road has a problem, Council Paris, right where Woolworth used to be. Wasa. Wasa, yeah. So, so the road is terrible there over the years, and they are doing a special work there. So people who drive up Harris Promenade, don't blame the mayor. Because everybody always blaming me for everything. Okay? We are going to develop Skinner Park, we have a lot of things to do, and we are not. We are. I. I, I as I always say, when I was a councillor, I as always say, I, can't, I don't make promises that I cannot keep. And I want to show all of you, all distinguished ladies and gentlemen here tonight, what we say we going to. We are going to do. We will actually do it. We are going to make a difference in San Fernando. The San Fernando will be proud. The party that I represent will be proud. The political, my political leader will be proud, and we are going to do it in San Fernando. So I'm not going to say anything more. Considering that I just want to let you all know I appreciate you all being here tonight. And I know next year I will have to change this venue because the amount of people call me for tickets, and I want to say all of my Ratiram. It's not only PNM people. The majority of people that called me for tickets was UNC people. <laughs> but we didn't have any. And that we didn't have any to give them, eh? but the place was so loud. So I have friends on all sides. And as Lynn Hill said, he knew how I grew up. And I will try, I promise you all, I'll try. For um, Pereira, I, I know you, you are close to me. You don't know that, but I am close to you. And I, I want you to know thanks for your guidance. I know you always pray for me and so on. 
And I want to thank everybody here sincerely. I could call everybody by their name. I know people here. Sincerely for coming here tonight. I don't want to keep you all late. We start half an hour late. I, am, I don't make joke with time. If I say 8 o'clock, it's 8 o'clock. My council members will tell you that. And I really appreciate you all being here tonight for a good cause. Because it's the poor and needy you all are helping. We are not, we are not, have, we are not using the mayor's fund for no party, and no celebration, and no drinking and liming. That is not it. And this fund will be accountable to the people of San Fernando. I asked for an audit on the last mayor's fund because I couldn't sit in the office and see what that fund was being used for. It's not right. It's definitely not right. So I, I have a little small speech, and you all will give me a couple of minutes to just let you all know. And it starts like this, huh? Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, good evening and welcome. Welcome to this charity event and fundraiser, which is usually held during our City Week celebration. And this year, 2014, as we commemorate 26 years of attaining city status, first and foremost, I compel that we need, needed to have a reintroduction into the nature and purpose of the Mayor's Project Fund. Without casting any aspersion on previous users, this Mayor's Project Fund will and is an avenue to assist persons of our city who are most vulnerable. The Mayor's Project Fund is there to disperse after a careful after a careful evaluation to assist the differently able, underprivileged persons, at risk, young people in sporting organizations, and our cities, families, and children who are in dire need of assistance. It brings, <coughs> sorry, it brings hurt to my heart to know that in the past months, we have had to turn away such persons. The evening, with your kind and noble generosity, we can stand tall knowing that we continue a good race for humanity. And I want to say to you, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, once again, congratulations for what you have done tonight. I would like to assure each one here tonight that the Mayor's Project Fund in which you have contributed and made your pledge under this council, the accounts will be made available for your inspection. And I want to repeat it. This is not Chasm's Mayor's Fund or the council's Mayor's Fund. This belongs to you. And I want to repeat this. The accounts will be made available for your inspection. We believe in accountability transparency and being responsible in all our endeavors as we usher in the christmas season that presents a time of giving the mayor's project fund will not only be used in the season of giving but also it will be used all year round for noble and benevolent acts this fund will always be open to welcome your kindness this evening the people of San Fernando and I are very proud and grateful for your generosity, which will go a very, very long way. I know that is, it is challenging for you to take your hard-earned funds during such a time as this with, increased, with the increased cost of living, the downward trend in the economy, and the reduction in the price of oil that is resulting in challenges an added course of doing business. To the many who are present and those who are not here today and who would like to extend your continued generosity, I also say thank you. And by the way, a lot of people bought tickets 
and couldn't come tonight. So where we catered for 300, the seating accommodation, yeah, we sold 300, but we, we, we seated 200, almost 200 people. For those who have yet to give, I encourage you to please do so as your act of kindness as some of our citizens only hope. Before I, I conclude, I want to pause and take this opportunity. Deputy Mayor, Deputy Mayor, I am in charge here this evening and you are disturbing my speech. Yeah. Now that's how I act on the council. <laughs> I would like to take this opportunity to say a special thank you to the Deputy Mayor, Olaman Junior Regalo. Yeah. <laughs> I, you know I, I, I really have love for everybody on the council. I might be a little stern, but I want to get things done. That's what I was brought up. And you and all members of the council, and you all knew, you all, distinguished ladies you all, and gentlemen, you all know who are the members of the council. They are very supportive in all the projects we are doing. But I had to single out the Deputy Mayor. And I want to, and Mr. Deputy Mayor, I want you to forgive me what I'm going to say. But I must say it tonight. People have told me since I came into office to be careful of you. To don't trust you. That you want to sit in the Mayor's chair. You want to undermine me. That you would want you want to undermine me. And ladies and gentlemen, I see some of you all serious and some of you all are smiling. And some of you all might want to think I am mad for saying that. But I usually speak the truth. And the deputy mayor and I have a relationship just like everyone who I know. As I told Olaman Ratiram. I have more friends than him in his party than he has. So <clears throat> I want to let you all know that Junior and the members of council, the deputy mayor, sorry, has worked very hard to make this happen tonight. And I want you to congratulate him. <clears throat> and on a more serious note, Nobody can undermine me. Because when God gives something to you, he will carry you through it. So nobody can undermine me. And who wants to sit in the chairs when God ready? Because my feet, my everything that everything that I believe in, God come first. How much prayers I pray today before I come here tonight? So, Deputy Mayor, thank you for your support and thank all council members. But I must pause to let you all know that he was responsible. He's coming in more than 7 o'clock and leave 9 o'clock and 10 o'clock in the night in the office. And every day, 9 out of 10 people would tell me don't trust him. When you know they say, keep your friends closer and your enemies closer. But I don't think I have enemies. They, they probably have enemies, but I don't have any. So thank you, Deputy Mayor. And I would like to continue just for a little two, two seconds. I know that there is a greater good in all of us, and it is shown in many ways, including this evening, by your generosity. You have chosen to bind your belly and to see that another person is made happy. As a practicing Muslim, Islam speaks of charity, as most religions do. And the benefit thereof, I know, 
that will all receive in one way or another reward of willingness to help. I conclude by telling you thanks and as we embark on this continued journey of giving, together we all make San Fernando, we will all make San Fernando a safe, better place and for all and bring hope to the most needy. I also say thank you on behalf of all the council members, very, very supportive, as we continue to work hard for our citizens to make this wonderful city of San Fernando the best place to locate your families, to grow and locate your business, and to conduct your business affairs. And before I close, I would like to, with your permission, Mr. Errol Fabian, Mr. Chairman, I would like to recognize two people in the audience. My wife, Kathy Hussein, and my mother, Mrs. Zamira Hussein. And I say she's the luckiest woman in the world to have a husband and a son as the mayor of the city. So I invite you now to enjoy the evening in togetherness as noble friends of this, in the, of this city and an evening of dining and exquisite entertainment. Thank you all. Good evening. <laughs> Distinguished ladies and gentlemen. Yes, it's good to be here. I love charity, and charity balls are the best way to, you know, get money together to get support. Those of you who know that City Week, which is two weeks, kick off Wednesday, back and I'll start. And if you're too tired to come to the city, like tomorrow night for the night mass and them kind of things, tune into Gael. We'll be happily carrying most of the activities and festivities of City Week in San Fernando live on Gael for the world to see. Yeah. <laughs> Feeling good? I'm feeling good. And if you want to feel good, then you better welcome on stage a uh, Naprima College alumni, Mr. Ansel Valley. He's a producer, he's a songwriter, he is a CEO of his company. He mashed them up in Digicel Rising Star in 2013, and he's coming here this evening to sing his way into your heart. So, ladies and gentlemen, do welcome Mr. Ansel Valley. All right, good. I always ask this question. Please just look at the person next to you and let them know right, watch them right in the eye and tell them you're the nicest looking person I see for the entire day. <laughs> <laughs> now, now mind you, Errol, some people had an easier task than others, huh? I'm looking at one table, Errol, I wouldn't identify it. It was, it was very hard to do that there. But some tables had it very, very easy. And, and to make things equal, you can look at the other person and tell them, you ain't looking too bad either, you know? <laughs> so all protocols observed. I am not here to speak, I'm here to sing. I'm going to do two songs right quick. You're going to enjoy them thoroughly. You're going to snap your fingers, you're going to smile. It's going to be the start of an excellent and exceptional night of entertainment. Do you agree with me? Yeah, because the agreement is important because I'm not too sure how our song, but I want to make sure that I put that out there first, right? So without further ado, let's get into it. This one is from Nina Simone. It's called Feel Good. Birds flying high, you know how I feel. Sun in the sky, you know. on by you know how I feel it's a new dawn it's a new day it's a new life for me and I'm feeling good Snap your fingers, right? I'm feeling so good. 
fish in the sea, you know how I feel. River running free, you know how I feel. Blossoms on a tree, you know how I feel. It's a new dawn, it's a new day, it's a new life for me. And I'm feeling good. Dragonflies out in the sun You know what I mean, don't you know? Butterflies all having fun You know what I mean To sleep in peace when day is done That's what I mean Cause this whole world is a new world And a bold world for me So from where I sit, and from what I've heard from the mayor, San Fernando is definitely enjoying a new day, a new dawn. If you believe that, put your hands together for this awesome mayor that we have. Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stars, when you shine, you know what I mean. Scent of the pine, and you know what I mean. Oh, freedom is mine, and I know how I feel. It's a new dawn, it's a new day, it's a new life. It's a new dawn, it's a new day, it's a new life. It's a new dawn, it's a new day, it's a new life. So we go right into the next one. This one's from The Temptations. Anybody remember Temptations music? You do. Is there anybody with, with a special person in their life, a daughter, a wife, your girl that makes you feel like you got sunshine? Anybody has that here? Yeah? And, and are you as fortunate? Are you so fortunate that you have that person in the room with you? Yeah, wow, I'm seeing nothing. Let's go. So you can snap your fingers. Come on, we're gonna have a time tonight, right? You know this one, right? Come, help me if you know it. Let's go. I've got sunshine on a cloudy day. Yeah. See, when it's cold outside, I've got the Monday. Can you help me say, I can? Come on. You say, what? Come on. I'm talking about my girl. my girl. I got so much honey. The bees envy me. And they should, right? <laughs> I got a sweeter song, yay. Than the birds in the trees. Yeah, yeah. Let's go, sing. Woo. Talking about my girl. And ooh, baby. <laughs> come on, this is a jazz club right now. Come, let's see this finger snapping. Yeah, come on. I don't know what year this was, but it was a good year. Yeah, yeah. Mm, yeah. 
Wanna look at this man? I know that there's somebody in his life that's gonna make him say, I don't need no money, fortune or fame. I always seen laughter. I've got all the riches, baby, that one man can play. Talking about my girl. my girl. You see, I got sunshine on a cloudy day with my girl. And I even got the month of May with my girl. My girl. Talking about. Ladies and gentlemen, it was a pleasure. Thank you very much, sir. Is yours? Yes, right. Thank you very much. Ansel Valley, ladies and gentlemen. You know, in my job, I get to travel all over the place, all over the place, and I get to meet all kinds of great people. And um, I have to say this evening, I must let you know that one of the greatest men I've ever met in my life is sitting here in the audience this evening. So I too want to salute and say good evening to the birdie, Slinger Francisco, the bird with the word. <laughs> and because of how great you are, sir, and how much you've done for us, I, I want to sing for you this evening. Yeah, yes, and I'm going to do so. Just one verse and chorus, please, yeah, people. Don't expect any more. Thank you, sir. Just right. You see, I'm, I'm a student of Calypso. I've been that all of my life. I listen to Sparrow and all the greats. And I realized they sing about things they love. So I decided to pen a song about things I love. And I love to eat. I love to eat. So I go a little deeper to find out what I love the most. And I love pastries. I love pastries. What pastry do you enjoy, sir? All? You are a man after my heart. What about you, Monsignor? What pastry do you enjoy? No pastry so much? Is there anyone that was a favorite? Quiche? But oh, you are a man after my heart, boy. Vegetable quiche is the greatest pastry that was ever made. And let me tell you, I wrote a song called Ode to the Vegetable Quiche. And so, Birdie, I'm singing one verse and chorus of my Ode to the Vegetable Quiche just for you this evening. I sure by now, everybody know, your boy Fabian come from Guapo. Life there was nice, it was really sweet. And the pastries, them hard to beat. The first time I taste a lemon meringue pie, I ball out, yes, oh me, oh my. Now the pie tastes good, yes, it Pass the test, but vegetable quiche is by far the best. And so in the morning, I just feel for quiche. Late in the night, I just feel for quiche. All day long, I feeling for quiche. My friends, right now, I feeling for quiche. Just for you, buddy. You're, you're, you're just so great. I've learned so much. I, I listen to the greats. My friends, I want you to know, I'm watching a couple sitting down over so. I know they're enjoying this song. If you see they're smiling as I sing along, she laughing and slapping here on his leg. So for her excuse, I want to beg. Madam, please, I say don't feel no how, but I suspect you're feeling for quiche right now. <laughs> Thank you, buddy. Buddy, I don't know how to thank, start thanking you for the thousands and thousands and thousands of hours of love and enjoyment we've gotten from your music. But, sir, thank you very much. Yeah. <laughs> Next up on stage, my friends, we have a man. He's still dusting off some cold breeze from on his clothing. He performed a standing and rousing ovation in Toronto last evening or evening before last. But he's here. He's a man who has 
captured the Calypso monarch. In fact, I think he won the Calypso king crown in Trinidad and Tobago, did it once, and left them to fight up after that. None other than the virtuoso himself. Ladies and gentlemen, an, ama an amazing guitarist, a marvelous composer, and a wonderful performer. None other than Willard Harris, the relator, is here. Come, ladies and gentlemen, and I must thank you for that round of applause that you almost gave to me. Thank you. Now, to begin with, I would like to start. You hearing the guitar? Let me give me a little more guitar, please. Drummer, I will tell you when I want the drum, um, Mr. Engineer. I will tell you when I want the drum. In a little while from now. I would like to thank Mr. Junior Regrello for having me here. The, the deputy mayor, he was... Yes. So, Junior was um, responsible for me. Very um, influential individual, I must tell you, because I was in jet lag. And he called me and he said, I want you down here on Friday night. I couldn't refuse. I have to be here. Give the deputy mayor a round of applause, please. And now we come to the mayor. The mayor is here. Where is the mayor? Here. So, um, drummer, give me the, give me the drum so I could do. I'm doing a dealing with the mayor now. I'm singing this song especially for the mayor. A lovely day for cricket. You're supposed to clap there. Blue skies and gentle breeze. Indians are awaiting now to play the West Indies. A signal from the umpire, the match is going to start. The cricket has come on the field, they all look very sad. You know the chorus. Irapali Prasana, Gigi Boy and Wadeka. Krishna, Murti, and Vishnu, Mankat. Them boys could rail play cricket on any kind of wicket. They make the West Indies team look. We was in all kind of trouble. Joey Karu pull a muscle. Clive Lloyd get about three run out. We was in trouble without a doubt. What's the chorus? Sing for the mayor. Just like a wall, they couldn't knock a mascarade. You know the West Indies couldn't knock a mascar at all. Venkata Raghavan, Bedi in a turban, Vijay Jaishima, Jayanti Lal. They helped to win the series against the West Indies. At Sabina Park and Queen's Park Oval 158 by Kanai Rally sent our hopes up high Noriega 9 for 95 But the Indian team, they still survive Are you singing? Just like a wall They couldn't knock a mask at all Not at all You know the West Indies couldn't knock the basket at all. Govindraj and Jurani, Salka Abidali, Dilip Sadesai and Vishwanath. They make West Indies bowlers look like second raters. When them fellas came out here to bat, West Indies try holder and keep boys. They had no other choice. They even try when you can down. But a shot that they sorry they bring him now. Are you singing? Just like a wall, they couldn't knock the mask at all. Not at all. You know the West Indies couldn't knock the mask at all. Little Desmond Lewis. Also Charlie Davis Day Take a little shame from out we face But Sobers as a captain He want plenty coaching Before we cricket end up in a disgrace Baby here that he became a father He 
catch a hole for the cover. But when sober's here, he do had a son. He make duck and went back. A little louder. Why says? You know the West Indies couldn't out grab Alaska at all. You know the West Indies couldn't. One more time. You know the West Indies couldn't out grab Alaska at all. the drum. Thank you. All right, we're working good. We, we understand. Give the um, engineer a round of applause. Ladies and gentlemen, I didn't know that the Calypso King of the World would be here tonight. And it's not very often I get a chance to sing in front of the Calypso King of the World. But let me give you a little history. When I was the junior Calypso monarch of this country in 1965, 65 of this junior calypso monarch. <laughs> 1965, how many years ago that is? How many? Plenty, all right. Um, I was crowned junior calypso king. In those days, it was Auntie K. And then the mighty bomber donated a, a wristwatch, and Sparrow donated $50. A round of applause. 1965. Birdie, you remember that? All right, and um, I had to go down to the hideaway. In them days, $50 was big money. I'll tell you why. I went down to the hideaway to receive my prize, and I went, and the birdie, he honored the um, promise, and I got my $50. It had cricket in the oval that same day. So on my way back with my prize money, I dropped in the oval to see a little cricket because I like bat and ball. And I buy a roti, I buy a red solo, I buy a pack of nuts, I buy two sweet drinks for two partners in the oval that day, out of the $50, eh? 1965, and I still reach home with $45. <laughs> That's just part of the story. Now give me a round of applause for the birdie. So, Get big money singing under the birdie, and not only that, I got an opportunity, ladies and gentlemen, to do a guest appearance at the original Young Brigade that was on Rice Road in those days. <laughs> birdie, thank you very much. Thank you very much. David, the birdie, a round of applause. Did a lot for Calypso. So, ladies and gentlemen, I'm doing these couple pieces with the guitar, and then we'll get back to the drum, all right? I'm going acoustic, right? Thank you. Um, so we're doing a little vintage, and then we'll come back to a little Christmas. So if um, Spoiler was alive. Yes, if Spoiler was alive, this is the approach with one of his big songs. I'm going to bite them young ladies, partner, like a hot dog or a hamburger. And if you know your tender being a fright, it's only roly poly that I'm going to buy. If you want to be happy and live a king's life, never make a pretty woman your wife. If you want to be happy and live a king's life, never make a pretty woman your wife. All you have to do is hear what I say, and you will be jolly, merry, and gay. Therefore, from a logical point of view, always marry a woman uglier than you. A pretty woman makes her husband look small, and very often causes downfall. From the time she marries, there and then she'll start to do the things that will break your heart and when you really think she belongs to you she call in somebody else honey jew therefore from a logical point of view always marry a woman uglier than you now an ugly woman gives you your meals on time and very often a peace of mind at nights when you lie in your cozy bed she will kiss caress you and scratch your head she will never ever 
embarrass you at all thy exhibiting herself to Sparrow and Paul. Therefore, from a logical point of view, always marry a woman uglier than you. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, you look like a very happy bunch. So I would like to encourage a little sing along. Okay, are you ready? We're doing vintage and let me go down memory lane and sing along. Let's go, drums. Sing along, yeah? I had a little monkey, I lent it to a lady. Are you singing? The lady went in the parlor to buy some. Sing the man. The monkey take a piece of charcoal. Stop the music a minute for me, please. Mr. Al Rari, I would like you to um, discontinue that sidebar, please, because this is a very important part of the show. Have a seat with the rest of people and let us go down vintage. Put away the politics and the job for a minute for me, please. It's not a buffet, ladies and gentlemen. It's just an observation. The sidebar is distracting me a little bit. Come on, sit down and let me hear some, Let me sing some Kaisona, please, Mr. Rari. <laughs> And you notice I have, I'm wearing red here. If you want me to discontinue and don't get my support, disobey me. Yes, drums. Slime on goose. Are you singing? Yes. The mongoose went in the neighbor kitchen. There's only the deputy mayor singing. Sing the chorus, slime on goose. It was a bacchanal for the carnival. Fight for so with invaders and Tokyo. Mama went the two band clash. Sing it if you see a clash. To jump up in a steel band in Port of Spain. Invaders beating sweet, coming up Park Street. Lord Blakey running side by the old lady on top of the lady bed. The pelt a bottle and bust me head. Sing it. I was playing a boss, but look at me cross. Friends, this thing reach so far. Quite in the south, I'm still in a doubt. I pick up with Maria. Introduce her to me, darling. That's Lord Blakey. Oh, what a lovely face. She put on, she ain't just smile on me. And that was the case of me balling. Sing the chorus, children. If you leave me, now will be hard. Hey, I don't know. What made me love so? But she catch me sweet. Now did you hear about the thief and pussy? Cat, the hole up in Sandy Grandy. You can't cook and leave it at all. That pussy cat will make you ball. Is one way to get a relief. They plan one night to capture the thief as he run inside by my neighbor's son. And the boy say, Puss, the cat start to run. They're running him. If you see him, Pussy running. Sing the chorus. This is the verse that Birdie like. Well, at first nobody didn't know Was a pussycat the beating so So they sent down to the CID For Boros, Rani, Bab and Monsingi But the CID men tell them flat It's not a human, friends is a cat They didn't believe the police was right Until they jammed the pussy in that night They running him Everybody Pussy running. Are you singing? You must remember this. The lizard run up she dress. 
everybody's still searching. Sing the chorus. commercial break ladies and gentlemen when you're doing vintage you must do a commercial break you have to pause for station identification i'll give the sponsors a chance sing with me guinness keeps your pecker up guinness then you're right on top guinness i really love the blend guinness is a man best friend sing the chorus no other drink ever bring no man so much blessed is the day that my mama make me drink With a little milk and egg Somebody bong to beg I really love the blend For power And we must do a little Lord Melody With a sparrow good friend Eh? You must do a little Do a little melody with a sparrow good friend This is Melody Commercial Najib Elias, all kind of lumber, hardware, iron, cement, etc. If you want leather to build your shoe, Najib Elias is the man for you. Najib Elias, all kind of lumber, hardware, iron, cement, etc. If you want leather to build your shoe, and Abood for shoes. Abood for shoes. Abood for shoes. Thank you, thank you. So, um, Mr. Regrello, I'm fa fighting this jet lag, eh? So I have to um, wind up in a few minutes from now. But when these big international parties, no drums for this one, try to sing Calypso, uh, they, they always run into problems, eh? When people like Dean Martin and Billy Eckstein and Louis Armstrong, they run into problems, Edmundo Ross. When they try to sing the Calypso, they run into problems. Now, this is Dean Martin singing, um, trying to avoid the royal jail. For drunken, for drunken driving. This is Dean. You remember Dean? You know, you, you people know who Dean Martin is? But Dean? Okay. So if Dean was to do um, Royal Jail, this is the approach. Mm -hmm. I don't tell my friends and my family not to worry. One bottle of rum will make me really very happy. Order to call a lawyer, call Angus to run. But if you know what I mean, send me some old Logan Vat 19. Yes, and 
and if Mr. Billy Eckstein was to do Gene and Dinah, Billy Eckstein was to do Gene and Dinah, this is the approach. Gene and Dinah, Rosita and Clementina, these women are so nice. They will make you feel you're in paradise. And if you have no money, no money, no money, they will give you loads of honey. No need to row, it is guaranteed. You will get what you need somehow. And Mr. Louis Armstrong, clap your hands in time with the music. Doing the same Gina Diner. Yes, Gina Diner. Rosita and Clementina. They are around the corner. And if you have no money, they will give you loads of honey bumbles over there. No need to fight, you will surely get that bag of sugar tonight. Oh, yeah. Thank you very much, and good evening, and God bless. One more. All right, okay. Drums. <laughs> this is the time of the year. Most people start to prepare. Unconsciously, we sing the refrain. Christmas is here once again. Anxiously, your paws start to raise. The radio say 10 more shopping days. There's a hustle and a bustle in preparation for the Christmas celebration. Sing, Christmas is yours. Let us all rejoice and let the voices sing glory. Is no mommy worrying about getting some new curtains? And then of course the usual quarrel, when he forget to buy the sorrel. Mommy blood pressure cause a big headache, no currants and raisin to make fruit cake. Daddy money shorty in a real jam We ain't sure if we eat in ham But Christmas is Sing it A feeling of joy So let us all rejoice And let the voices sing Glory Yes Muma, Muma How do you like to join Sunny, I am over here, happy in this, darling, for the Christmas, we all will be singing, so join in the chorus, drink a rum and a bunch of prima, drink a rum and a bunch of prima, drink a rum, drink if you're drinking, Drink if you're drinking. It's music time in any When you see man start to parang, all the instruments does be in tune, but they don't leave out the butt. Yes, I hear it. Where that coming from? Lovely. A whiskey bottle or rum bottle does sound real nice. 
Sing the chorus. Drum, bass, fall, place your bottle half with water. So we wish you a Merry Christmas. Errol, we wish you a Merry Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Woo! The Relator. Well, boy, I want you to know. I want you to sing me an next tempo. You're looking at the mighty sparrow. Like you want him to come and sing Calypso. Don't get me now in a rage. If you want to invite the birdie on a stage, right now, Errol boy, I gonna tell you flat. I know Sparrow, he will not refuse that. And it's Jean and Dinah, Rosita and Clementina, from the corner posing. Something they sell it, daughter, back and out. Drunk and disorderly, always. 
He tried his best but couldn't succeed. You see? My head was done see and up to now I can't read. So who the hell care about Peter? Peter was a pumpkin eater. The lily pot people tie Gulliver. When I was sick and lay a bed, I had two pillow at my head. And the goose lay a golden egg. A spider, catch a fly, Morocco with wings, flapping in the sky. They beat me like a dog to learn at in school. Well, if my head was bright, I would have be a damn fool. And that is the man in the van. Them one, and then I, 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 I tell them the answer here now. This is the your whole life will be misery, you're better off then. But I'm bad, 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 i am Education, education, this is the foundation of a rising population. Need sound education to be recognized anywhere you go. You gotta have your certificate to show. To enjoy kind of happiness knowledge is the key to success let me hear you children go to school and learn when otherwise later on in life you go get ready without an education in your head your whole life will be pure misery. You're better off dead. For there is simply no room in this whole wide world for an uneducated little boy or girl. Do allow idle companions to lead you astray. To earn tomorrow, you got to learn. Prince Philip was not in England. She was left all alone to rule. That's when she began to question. Where's that philandering fool? It was then she was told with malice. My liege, I thought you knew. The prince and the chief of police left in askance and a skill. Askance. Ask you. There's a war going on in Turkey. Prince Philip, he wants peace. So he left rather hurriedly to get some help from Greece. Some fulfilled rage and anger. She stood in disbelief. What on earth is he doing over yonder with that wicked police chief? Where is it? Wicked police chief. Now in representing England, we know and we expect that after negotiation, you give, sometimes you get, 
Now I know Prince Philip wouldn't, but the chief, he can be cruel. Oh dear, I hope they didn't go to the, the capital of Istanbul. To East? Come back home immediately, she said. Buckingham Palace is in a mess. The kids have all gone, Batty. Your damsel's in distress. So she met him at the palace gate. Did you have fun? Pray tell. While we were gone, I captured a burglar. So take heed and listen well. Philip, my dear. Last night I thought was you in here. Where did you go? Walking for good old England, but you're missing all the action. My dear, do you know? There was a man in my bedroom wearing your shoe. Fondling the royal costume. Dipping in the royal perfume, I telling you true. A man in my bedroom, I'm just for a rendezvous. And I thought it was you. He big just like you, but younger, stronger. The palace guards were playing hopscotch in the yard, abandoned the throne. Me with this perfect stranger, the jewels was in danger, for I was alone. With a man in my bedroom, loaded with brew. Yes, this my Lord Aras urchin on top of my bed was coaching like a cockatoo. A man in my bedroom came on the bed to do how what the hell do you want me to do? Bum 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 I want to tell only what Prince Philip said. Just after she doesn't tell him that. Prince Philip said, next time, don't do that. Don't take nobody for me. I could take him for myself. <laughs> Buckingham, no one respond to the alarm, so this plunderer displayed inside me boudoir, a tool meant for agriculture. I stood there in awe, with a man in my bedroom, seven feet or more. Hither and file all my good linen, he soil, he was so obscene. A man in my bedroom, so nasty and mean, telling me now, let God save the queen. Be just like you, but younger. I didn't hear you say stronger. The body ball, oh god. Harder, <laughs> harder, a man in my bedroom, he came on the bed to do, and I took him for you, obviously, I've suffered great indignity through this commoner. Instead of being free in London, he should be put in a dungeon under the tower. A man in my 
bedroom Enjoying the full view This vicious immoral scoundrel Son of a common mongrel Steal me true and true A man in my bedroom Your input was overdue And I thought it was you He big just like you but stronger I didn't hear you say but stronger Somebody but oh god Bada <laughs> Bada A man in my bedroom He came on the bed to do What the heck you want me to do Bada 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 I have shared a relationship with Buddy for, for years. I've had a good fortune to tour with him when I was a teenager. And I also want to share what little stories about life with Buddy on tour. I remember being in Italy with him and I'm a breakfast person. And at this hotel breakfast was served at 5 a.m. But I went down at about 7 o'clock for breakfast, and I checked the list for the performers. First person was Paro. So how is Paro? We, we left the state at 3 o'clock this morning. How is Paro could reach there at 7 a.m.? So the following morning, I went down at 6 a.m. I said, I'll beat Sparrow to it. First person signed was Paro. So I called him and said, Sparrow, nobody do have breakfast before me. He said, no, nobody do have breakfast before me. So I said, the following morning, we left the stage at 4 a.m. When I went for breakfast at 5 a.m., when I checked the list, I saw Sparrow sign. Nobody get breakfast before Sparrow. It's unbelievable. You don't see him during the day. You see for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and they disappear. And, so, I mean, I had a lot of fun to travel with Sparrow. But the most memorable story was we were, we were uh, in Washington for uh, a weekend. It was a, a Thanksgiving weekend, and we were doing a performance there. And they said that... Um, it's Thanksgiving weekend, nobody stays in town, they all go out to the families, they visit, place will be empty. You can't have this performance. But the promoters had already planned the whole thing and we had gone ahead with it. We went there. When I arrived, the concert was supposed to start at 8, I arrived at 5 p.m. and the place was full. And no the standing or the, or the people outside, long line to get inside there. That's the, that's the power of the mighty sparrow. We, we want to... Uh, and I mean... I heard somebody spoke about wanting to sit in any chair. I've had the most memorable life in my, in my time traveling with these gentlemen, with Sparrow and Kitchener, all these other guys, and, and really tell we toured many times. I remember um, Faris Alwari and I was on tour one, one year. We were in, I think we were in Rome, and Faris was about 18 years at the time. He didn't know Rome well, so I had to show him a wrong Rome. Just as, just as I'm going to show him a wrong Salvador West in the months to come. <laughs> But we, we had fun outside, so traveling really is where it is about. But I think we in San Fernando really, really thank for Sparrow. He has spent two weeks with us. He was here last week for the Sun Fest Festival. And the, I was taking him to Skinner Park, where the schools were performing. And you're talking about the junior schools, kids between seven and nine years old, nine and 12, and 12 and 15. And we drove up Sparrow Street, and I decided to enter the park from the Neil and Marcy entrance on the asphalt track. And I pulled in front of the mayor's box on the asphalt track, and as Shasparo came out of the vehicle, I was amazed to see all these school children rushing to him. Wow, look, Sparo! I was amazed that children at that age recognize this man because, I mean, that's unbelievable. Right? Right? Because those of us here that look around at the audience, we grew up with Sparrow. We were educated by him. He was our voice. He spoke on our behalf as we were growing up. But when the politicians didn't agree, or we didn't agree with the politicians, he spoke on our behalf. That don't happen anymore. Everybody whining from side to side and waving from side to side. But we need a voice, and Sparrow was our voice. And as you heard tonight, he still has that voice. So let us really thank him. Thank him for his contribution. And... And I will tell a, a, a naughty joke here. Uh, the, 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 the organization that brought him to San Fernando the first time said they're going to put him in a, a one star or two star guest house in San Fernando. And when he came to see the mayor and I, we said, What? You can't put Prano one star, two star hotel. So we got the best hotel in San Fernando, secured, make sure he was 
comfortable and he had the best meals. We we the city corporation took care of him, make sure he's well. Right? And and he came back again for the for the command performance at the corporation at the Sanfest San committee. And then with the mayor said, let's invite him to be our honored guest tonight. So what you got there was really a privileged performance. There was not on the cards, impromptu, but we really used to sparrow. On behalf of all of us here tonight, I want to tell you how, how grateful we are to have you know, with us tonight. And we thank you for being here. Let's give him a warm San Fernando <laughs> appreciation. Um, Junior, for my information, which hotel is the best hotel in San Fernando? <laughs> you see, I might be spending a little time in, in San Fernando soon, you know, and uh, my aunt do not live where she used to live anymore. I may need to go to a hotel I would not want to end up in a one-star. <laughs> No, uh, um, I'm a politician. I, I don't. Politicians don't have to sit like that. 